Now this question says a 20 feet tall, oh, okay, okay. Don't worry, if it is given 20 feet, you have feet tall man, you have to take it. So whether it is practically possible or not, don't worry about it. Is standing on the bank of a river, he finds that the angle of elevation of a bird in the sky is 45 degree. At the same instant, he observes that the angle of depression of image of bird in the river water, right? So we have to take the bird and the image at the same time is 60 degree. Find the height of the bird from water surface. Water surface behaves as a plane mirror. This is a very important concept. Now why? Because if you have seen plane mirror, I mean you see it every day, right? When you start from your house, you see it every day. So if I if I keep an object here, right? If, if this, let's say one is the object, the image will be exactly at the same distance on the other side. Okay. So the image will be exactly on the other side. So whatever the main thing is, whatever is this distance, so if this distance is x, then this distance also should be x. So this is the image. So image is exactly at the same distance from the mirror as the object is. Okay, this is a very important concept in this. Okay, now how is it applicable in this question? Let's see. Say this is the river. The man who is 20 feet tall is standing here. And there is a bird in the sky. This is the water surface. So let's say the height of the bird from water surface is H. Right? Let's say B is the bird. Now the image of the bird will be here. Let's say I is the image. But the man can see only from his eyes, not from his foot or any other part of the body. So this is the horizontal line. Man has to see from the eyes only. So angle of elevation of the bird in the sky, this angle is 45 degree and at the same instant from the same eyes, the angle of depression of image of the bird will be this angle and that is 60 degree. This is where a lot of people make mistake, right? You have to see this is the eye because see eye of a man has to be at the top of the body, right? So from there only you can see, okay? So if this is 20 feet, then in this triangle, in this rectangle, this will also be 20 feet. Then this upper part will be h minus 20. The lower part has to be h because this is the water surface. This is the mirror. This behaves as the mirror. So distance of the object from the mirror and distance of the image from the mirror has to be same. So if this height is h, this height, this length should also be h. Now let's give them some names. Say the man is a p, right? The height of the bird from water surface is b q. This point is R and the image is I. So look at the triangle A R B. Try to find it where it is. This is A, this is R and this is B. In the triangle angle is 45 degree. Okay. So let's say the distance between the man and the bird, let's say it is X. So this is also X. So in the triangle A R B, tan 45 degree will be equal to B R upon R B R A right and tan 45 degree is 1 br is h minus 20 ra is x so we have x is equal to h minus 20 let it be now comes the important part look at the triangle a r i this is a this is r and this is i so look at this triangle this angle is 60 degree in that triangle tan 60 degree will be equal to the opposite side to the 60 degree is Ri, okay, and uh, the adjacent side is Ar or Ra. From here we get tan 60 degree is root 3, Ri, Ri, look at this carefully, Ri is Rq 20 plus uh, Qi that is H, so it is H plus 20 divided by Ra, we have already calculated Ra is X, X is, this is Ra that is h minus 20 all right so we just cross multiply we just solve this to find the value of h cross multiply so from here we can see that h root 3 minus 20 root 3 is equal to h plus 20 so bring this h on the left hand side and 20 root 3 on the right hand side so we have h root 3 minus h will become h common root 3 minus 1 this 20 root 3 goes to the other side and gets added so we get 20 into root 3 plus 1 so from here we get h equal to 20 into root 3 plus 1 upon root 3 minus 1, right? So let's do one thing, rationalize it, multiply by root 3 plus 1 in numerator and denominator. In numerator we will have 
20 into root 3 plus 1 whole square and in denominator we have 3 minus 1. Now 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 divides 20 10 times and root 3 plus 1 whole square will be 3 plus 1, 4 plus 2 root 3 into 1, so 2 root 3, right? So if you simplify, root 3 is 1.732 and 2 into 1.732 will be 3.464 and plus 4 will be 7.464 and 10 into 7.464 will be 74.64 feet, right? So the answer to this question is 74.64 feet, okay?